The term wave dozer has been coined to describe a device for generating large waves developed by ship division of the National Physical Laboratory primarily for use in testing marine structures. Spanning the full tank width. When the carriage runs, the flap, as illustrated in the diagram, leaves a train of waves in its wake. When the carriage stops, the waves continue propagating past the flap into the remaining length of tank where the test structures are placed. In this case, a pair of vertical cylinders are used for a basic research project being carried out by the Maritime Science Division of NPL. Finally, the waves break near the far end of the tank, where the bottom slopes up with a gradient of one in five, providing an effective beach. The ensuing film shows a sequence of test runs, all at the same speed, by a prototype wave dozer, mounted at 17 and a half degrees incidence on the carriage of the ship division number two tank at Teddington. These tests is 2.3 meters. This is less than the normal running depth of 2.7 meters to allow clearance for the waves. As the carriage slows and stops, the waves continue towards the test cylinders and eventually break on the distant beach. The waves passing the test cylinders have a recorded height of about three quarters of a meter. The cylinders are 10 centimeters in diameter and are located about 10 meters beyond the point at which the carriage stops. The test cylinders are suspended from a temporary bridge structure and instrumented to measure the wave-induced forces. Here we see the train of waves formed behind the carriage. The carriage runs down the tank at four meters per second. Recordings were made of these waves, which are about one meter high from crest to trough. Measurements were also made of the loading on the flap, which is about a ton on a six meter span. This information will be of use in future designs. The waves emerge from under the flap and continue into the test area. They suffer some loss of height due to breaking on the back of the flap, but it is planned to avoid this in future by making the flap fully retractable. As the carriage slows down, a jacking lever above the flap is operated, which partially retracts the flap to reduce the loss of height due to breaking but there is still a substantial impact as each wave strikes. <laughs> 